Deception, it's Miss Walters again here and I've got another story for you. This week in your home learning you're going to be reading The Disgusting Sandwich and this is a book by an author that we haven't read before. The author is Gareth Edwards and the illustrator is Hannah Shaw. Now on this book we've been learning to spot the publisher of books in reception haven't we and in this book if you turn it over right at the bottom on the back there's a little picture of a rabbit and it says Alison Green Books so the publisher of this book is Alison Green Books that's a new one for us as well isn't it so if you're sitting comfortably we'll start our story the disgusting sandwich in a clump of trees on the edge of a park there lived a badger he was a very hungry badger and his tummy wouldn't stop rumbling. There he is and his tummy's going rumble rumble. One day a boy came to the park. He had a sandwich with him. It had fresh white bread and peanut butter. It was a beautiful sandwich. Hmm. It's making my tummy rumble. The boy took his sandwich to the playground. He was about to take a bite when a girl bumped into him and it fell in the sand pit. Now the fresh white bread was covered in gritty sand. Well, said the little girl, you can't eat it now. It's disgusting. She's quite right, isn't she? A squirrel found the sandwich. She didn't mind sand. She carried the sandwich into a tree to share it with her children. But they weren't good at sharing and the sandwich dropped out of the tree and into a pond. Well, said the mother squirrel, we can't eat it now, it's disgusting. So the squirrel will eat sand, but they won't eat pond water. A frog saw the sandwich it was floating in some goopy green pondweed that smelled of rotten eggs the frog didn't mind the sand and the smelly green goop he pulled the sandwich out to eat it on the path there he is. but a boy on a scooter raced by and he had to jump out of the way now the sandwich had big black squish marks right across the middle. Well, said the frog, I can't eat it now. It's disgusting. Oh dear. Next, a crow saw the sandwich. She didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop and the big black squish marks. She peeled the sandwich off the path and flew proudly up to her nest to give it to her mum. But a scary flying thing frightened her and she dropped the sandwich into an ant's nest. Hundreds of ants were crawling all over it. Oh goodness. Well, said the crow's mum, I can't eat that now. It's disgusting. They've all got things that they don't like, haven't they? A bit like you and I. Soon a fox found the sandwich. He didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop and the big black squish marks or the hundreds of ants. He took it to be a present for a lady fox he liked. I wonder if she'll be impressed with that sandwich. But when he opened his mouth to tell her how nice she looked, the sandwich fell into a pile of feathers that had somehow got there. Now the sandwich was covered with grimy old feathers. Well, said the fox's friend, I can't eat it now, it's disgusting. And she kicked the sandwich into a flower bed and went off to go through some bins. Would you eat a sandwich out of a bin? In amongst the flowers were some slugs. They didn't mind the sand, the smelly green goop, the big black squish marks, the hundreds of ants, or the grimy old flowers. 
they slithered all over the sandwich and crisscrossed it with trails of slippery slime and oozy grey bubbles. The moon came out. Which means it's gone from daytime now to night time. And badgers are nocturnal, aren't they? Finally, <clears throat> along came the badger. He was hungrier than ever. He gazed at the sandwich, all covered in sand and smelly green goop and big black squish marks and hundreds of ants and grimy old feathers and slippery slime and oozy grey bubbles glistening in the moonlight. His tummy rumbled. He's not put off, is he? Shrub! So, he ate up all the slugs. But he didn't eat the sandwich. It was too disgusting. And if you look right at the end of the story, there is a little creature who's enjoying the sandwich. A little mouse. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed that story. And I hope you enjoy the activities that you've got this week on this disgusting book, The Disgusting Sandwich. Bye-bye.